चैप्टर थ्योरी ऑफ कंज्यूमर बिहेवियर टॉपिक डेरिवेशन ऑफ डिमांड कर ऑफ ए गुड यूजिंग इंडिफरेंस कर वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी विल डिराइव द डिमांड कर फॉर ए गुड बाय यूजिंग इंडिफरेंस कर टेक्निक द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम इज यूज द कंज्यूमर्स इक्विलिब्रियम डायग्राम एंड आफ्टर दैट derivation of the demand curve will take place look at we take good y here good x here these are the quantities the budget line is given like this a b is the budget line when price of good x falls the budget line will move to the right keeping this point constant so we will extend this a bit let us say price of good x falls because we are going to derive the demand curve for good x once the price of good x falls the budget line moves like this on the horizontal axis where good x is measured let us call it a b dash on the budget line a b let us say the price of good x is p1 you know budget line is written like this initial budget line is p1x plus p2y gives you the income this is ab budget line when the budget line has moved to ab dash due to fall in price of x income is same but price of x has fallen let us say p1 dash is the new price of x so budget line is like this and this is a b dash now find out the equilibrium point the equilibrium point on the first budget line lies somewhere here that is the point of tangency between the indifference curve and the budget line call it i1 the first indifference curve and equilibrium point is point e where the consumer is purchasing x one amount of good x as a result of fall in price on the new budget line ab dash the new equilibrium point of the consumer will be somewhere here where the point of tangency lies so the new point of tangency is e dash and this indifference curve is leveled as i2 the new quantity demanded is x2 clearly due to fall in price of x the budget line moves from ab to ab dash the equilibrium point moves from point e to e dash the consumer purchases more of x from x1 to x2 the equilibrium points when they move and you join them we get a locus of all equilibrium points where x is purchased as a result of fall in its price this locus is called price conjunction curve of good x this is the upper part of the diagram now draw the demand for good x on the lower panel this way take price of x on the vertical axis and quantity of x on the horizontal axis 
the lower panel is drawn symmetrically and in the same alignment as the upper panel. Quantity of x, say x1, can be directly extended this way with the same measurement. So x1 is here. x2 is here. Level it this way. Now, x1 is associated with price P1, which corresponds to the point E, which is the initial equilibrium on budget line AB. P1 can be leveled somewhere here on the vertical axis on the lower panel. Quantity x2 is associated with price P1 dash, which corresponds to point E dash on the upper panel of the diagram on budget line A, B dash. And you know that P1 dash is below P1. That is P1 dash is less than P1. So level it below P1 on the vertical axis on the lower panel. Find the combination of X1 and P1 at point E1. The combination of P1 dash with X2 at point E2, join both E1 and E2 to get demand curve DX, which is downward sloping. Now you can find that the demand for X is derived from the price conjunction curve. Thank you. Look at the derivation of the demand curve for good X once again. 